fueled up the car. Now about to fuel ourselves up with some coffee. About to be a uh, hour long ride up to Whistler. And uh, I will see you all there. Let's go. Are you doing good? Thank you. So the speed limit on the highway here is 80 kilometers per hour, and I got you on the laser on 100 miles per hour. Average driver's license? Yes, sir. So, if you issue a violation ticket for speeding, it's 1 8 date instead of giving you the full fine for $196, it reduced it to the lowest one, so that's $138 instead. If you pay before 30 days, you also get a $25 discount on the fine. Your payment options are expanded in the back. There's a website where you can pay online and with a credit card if you want to, okay? But if you say somebody argumenting did on me with that gas pump and I just pressed on her and I just came out and the police got me right here. That I wasn't driving from far along the same speed. Just, you know, Unfortunately, that happened. Simple. And let's see what they say. We just explained to our son. That's it. You were under stress just a minute ago, okay. and unfortunately, he caught me because somebody was, you know, pissed me off on the on the gas pump. Simple. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> right. Okay, one more thing I tell you. You won't believe it. Even this, you don't believe even that. If you police, if police caught you, impaired driving on the lane, right? How could you, what would you say? You have an excuse, the solid, that you, you feel something goes into your eye and you start, right, to fight with that something goes. That's why it's a happen, impaired driving. They don't charge you for anything. They don't give you a ticket even. That's the trick, okay? Have, you, have, use it. have you used it before? I, I, that's what I said. Somebody used it and he told me, he said, if police start you impairing driving on the road, yeah. you just say something you feel, you felt in your eyes gone, so I tried to get it out and by the time that happened. You can say sorry or whatever excuse before he before he get your license and go to the car. Before that, you can control it. But after that, you cannot control it. But when you call to the mail office, then you talk to somebody there who have authorized, he can cancel you. That's another thing. This guy cannot cancel anything once he comes in the system. But somebody on top, he can cancel it. But if you have a good excuse. Okay? So we finally parked. Uh, it took 30 minutes to park because everybody's at the same spot this weekend. And now it's gonna take 30 minutes to get to the front where we're gonna get tickets. And we're gonna go up there. All the way up there. I'll see you there. Just look at this parking lot right here. Everybody is here. And this is like one lot out of like five or six entering skiers plaza Check out the bikers. So as I said, the gondola will close at, uh, this gondola at five. Last three people will be 4.30, okay? okay? So if you don't catch any gondola or it's late, we can yeah. give you back the tickets, okay? Okay, okay. So, but it's only three, there's ample time. Say again? There's ample time, there's only, it's only three right now. Yeah, no, but the first gondola will take 25 minutes, so yeah. you're going to be at the gondola at yeah, least so yeah. uh, 345 because yeah. we still need to go into the no, other So here we are, just made it on the gondola. 
It's going to be about 25 minutes up. You're going to be able to see pretty much all of Whistler Blackcomb. Whistler Blackcomb is one of the uh, famous ski resorts here in uh, North Vancouver. Uh, it actually hosted the 2010 Winter Olympics. Things like uh, tobogganing, skiing, mountain biking, all these different sports take place here. Uh, it's very, very famous here in Canada. So you're about to check it out, what it looks like from the top. Uh, it's going to be spectacular. Let's get to it. Approaching our first stop. This is just a quick stop off. How's it going, sir? On the left hand side, you can see some bikers, or it looks like some bikers. And as you can see, there's a lot of trails as well mountain bikers coming down. Right here, there's some kids up there uh, walking their bikes up the hills. How long does it take to ride down this mountain if you're biking? If you're biking? Yeah. Probably a couple of hours, I would think. <laughs> if not more. I once saw a bear run across here. Yep. Do those, do those things attack bikers or? Not really, unless you're feeding them something or you smell like food. Yeah. It's about to go from summer to winter now. In like the span of 20 minutes. Whistler Mountain Peak. And this looks like our stop. Just a few more seconds. People standing out here. Looks like there's a restaurant here as well. Cafe gift shop. Take a look at all the clouds. And here we are. Well, we've made it. Whistler. Peak. And look at the crowd out here. Look at all these people waiting in line. This line stretches on for miles. No, I'm kidding, not miles, but still, that is insane. Here's another line. This looks like it's going to, I'm not sure. Where is this going to? Oh, this is going, this is the peak to peak terminal, which uh, I'm not sure if I can get a view from here, but it's basically going from one mountain to the other. Everybody here is waiting in line. This seems like it's gonna be a long wait. As I said earlier, every weekend here is like a long weekend. People just come out of nowhere, <laughs> come here, and they have a uh, good time, uh, other than waiting in the lines, which is, you know, not very fun. But check this view out. That right there, in the distance, let me zoom in. That right there is the peak to peak. That's where it begins. And it goes all the way down to the other mountain over there. So we're just waiting in line. We're going to uh, hop on the peak to peak and I'll show you what it looks like uh, from up top uh, that vantage point. Might be a while though. <laughs> 